guys happy monday i'm a little bit of a rush i just put on these eye um like de-puffing eye masks from 111 skin i love their face masks like they have such good stuff um i keep these in my fridge just made some coffee i need to head out to pilates like honestly right now take the dogs out first um my set that i'm wearing is so cute it's from set active i'm obsessed I'm actually wearing the small and bottoms, which is, I normally wear a medium. And then I'm pretty sure I asked for a large in the top, but it could be a medium. I normally wear mediums, but I was like trying to size up in tops. Anyways, like literally cutest set ever. I'm off to Pilates. I'm gonna keep my eye mask on um, on the drive there. Alright guys, hello. It is later, it's noon. I'm actually meeting someone for lunch right now. I'm so hungry. I got a smoothie, but like I just need more food. Um, and then I'm actually really close to the studio. I have a studio session um, from two to four. I'm recording two episodes. So that is my Monday. Um, I have my bag. This top bag literally fits everything. It's the best thing ever. Also, this bracelet, I know I showed it in a recent vlog. It's the Alexa Kelly collection. I wear it 24 seven, um, but I like, can't talk until I have food. So I'll talk to you soon. Guys, <sighs> just wait until you hear about my Monday. Okay, so I went over to the area where my studio is, which is like kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's like nowhere that I go to. I don't know anything over that in that area. We had to go to like four different restaurants because the maps kept saying that there was places that they weren't there and whatever. We finally get a place to eat. This like this random bistro. It like, couldn't be the most it, the most random place in the world. We eat there. Then I walk up to the studio where I just have two recordings and there was like a scheduling conflict. Something happened. Long story short, no one was at the studio. So it was like, wait a second. Thank God it was like my management and a friend who I was recording with tonight. It wasn't someone that I like, didn't know and that was with their first impression. And one of the people actually needed to cancel, so it kind of worked out. But um, basically, my entire Monday afternoon was supposed to be really productive. And then everything got messed up. Um, I came home. It's now 4 p.m. I ended up getting some other work done. And I'm about to go on a walk with Amanda. And then I think I'm going to make dinner or something. But, like, this today was a wash. It was a complete wash. Oh, and get this. When we finally couldn't find food, we're like, we're going to go to the Starbucks. There's no seats. So I was like, whatever, I need food. But, like, what are we going to do when you sit down and, like, talk, you know? Um, so I get food and we're walking into the office and I drop the food it like fell out of my Starbucks bag not good so then we found the bistro but anyways very Monday Monday um we're gonna have a good night tonight don't worry and then the rest of the week will be great but it was a very Monday Monday I'm home for my walk. My new hoodie just came in. It's Mood Merch with Lauren Elizabeth. It's my favorite color, a nice little chocolate brown. And then look, I mean, I I love this. It's also a little bit lighter um, than a lot of hoodies. So I think we got like an extra large. I like them like oversized, but so cute. And then guys, I have such an exciting, exciting thing to show you. Ta-da! I mean, hello. I have wanted to come out with a breadwinning housewife shot glass for so long. It's perfect for just everyday use as well as bachelorettes. But um, it was supposed to come out in the summer launch and then basically we couldn't do it and then they last minute found a vendor that we could use. So now the breadwinning housewife shot glasses will be available. Guys, I mean, I am so excited. So be sure when it launches on the 16th to pick some up. They're really nice too. They're like perfect. Like look, we're really just the merch house over here. And I'm so excited because I just got the new Summer Fridays um, SBF, which I love Summer Fridays. So I'm like unbelievably excited to try. Also their branding is unreal. Like look at that, beautiful. This is my life on a Monday night. It is 7.45. The sun is out. It's actually really beautiful out today. Like, absolutely so beautiful. And I actually think I'll probably watch This Is Us, which is crazy. It's weird for me to, like, watch a show over reading, as we know. It's all I do. I put these, like, zip... Zip... Well, I think they're called zip stickers. Maybe zip stickers. That would make more sense. But anyways, on my face. Because I've just been having, like, really bad acne in the past few weeks. But I'm beginning to think this is somehow a sunburn from driving today because like why is this redness not gone away? That's really weird. So anyways, 
I have my matching pajama set, and that's gonna be it. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Look at my outfit. Um, this is only like this because I was carrying too much stuff downstairs. I'm wearing a set active set. Here we are. I'm eyeshadowing my face. I'm about to go walk the Katy Trail. I'm really excited because the new Ed My Lip podcast on the Skinny Confidentials out. So I'm gonna listen to that, walk the trail. I think I really wanna commit because I was running, but the issue is that it's so hot and it's really kind of ruining my schedule. So I might just wait until fall and then just do like three mile walks every day um, and like commit to that because I feel a lot better when I'm doing that. So anyways, just thinking out loud here, but I'm gonna go walk the trail this morning. It's eight right now. I have Pilates at 11.30. Tonight, I'm hosting a sip and paint here. So, my friends are coming over. We're all bringing different bottles of wine, like our favorite wines. And we're gonna do like a little like, um, we'll do like a little wine taste test. Um, and then everyone's bringing paint by numbers and we're gonna paint on the rooftop. But I do wanna have like new flowers in my house and make like a few appetizers. I don't know, I'm definitely doing the um, bacon stuffed dates that my friends love specifically lauren i haven't even decided like what else i want to do though i also want to say my skin was acting up so bad and now like you can still see the breakouts but they're like flat and going away i went back to urology which i should have never strayed from because it's truly the best thing that ever happened to my skin this is not sponsored um and it all just like went away so quick so i learned my lesson and i will not be leaving again because urology is the best thing that ever happened to my skin I also like kind of want to go get a pitcher and maybe do some like water or some like infused water things. Like I don't know. There's a few things I really want to do, so we'll see. Has anyone tried one of these Febreze air fresheners for the car? I'm trying to find like my car scent, so let me know. And then also like, what do you guys use? Also, guys, the new Super Goop. There's one that's like darker, it's like more bronzy, um, which it actually works so well for me because. Normally my face is tanner than my body, so when I put it on my um, face, it just like blends out into like slightly tanner, like a little bit glowier, and it matches my body. It's incredible. So can I recommend that enough? I'm on my way, I just mobile ordered my Starbucks, and I'm off to do my hot girl walk. My headphones are done. I hate my life. I feel like I just won an Emmy. I feel so much better. I just did three miles on the trail. I really am, I, listen, no one was around me. Everyone had their headphones in. So I listened to the podcast at volume two. I like had it up to my ear like I was on FaceTime with someone. Anyways, I feel so much better. And I wanna go back to when I would wake up super early. Like I wanna go back on like 6 a.m. wake ups, like at the latest. So I think that's next. I'm also drinking a lot less than I used to, like on the weekends, I'm drinking way less. Which is mainly when I drink, it's so rare that I drink, like, go out, I guess. But anyways, <sighs> All right, I just put a shirt on to go into anthropology. I wanna get a picture, and I just wanna see the stuff they have. They just moved the anthro from Highland Park to Knox, and I don't like this one as much as I like the other one, but anyways, I need a picture at least. So hopefully I find a cute one. I love this. I kind of love this tray. It's very unique. It's on sale too. Ooh. I mean, like, I don't need, I, I think I need it. It's actually really big. It's a great price. Honestly, this one too. Wait, I'm getting this. That's like a really good price. Okay, I have these. I like this picture because it's easier and it's not gonna break. Do I have to think about with moving it all the time? I also like that. Like, I kind of want a nice one. If I had more room, I would have something for every season. Love that. I want all of it. All right, y'all. Um, I didn't plan on getting this much stuff. A few of them, two of the things were on sale, and then I got plates, a pitcher, a candle that I needed. Um, I think I'm gonna stop by and grab the wine that I need. I'm just gonna put these in the back seat for now. Anthropology is truly just like my happy place. I don't ever get like clothes there really, even though like there's some dresses I would wear. It's all the hosting stuff, like there's just nothing better. Um, but I wanna stop at Sprouts to get some Aveline my favorite and maybe the goat cheese we'll see um before i go to pilates which is in like an hour just get as much done as i ooh, as i can all right y'all off to sprouts to get my favorite wine just stopping by because i need to go to trader joe's for the food um truly my favorite place 
All right, now I'm off to Pilates. I'm wearing Sit Active. Um, I'll probably talk to you guys after I finish and I shower when I get home. <sighs> I'm actually so excited for tonight. Like, it's gonna be so much fun. And right now, it's my favorite Pilates teacher that I'm gonna take from. It's a great day. All right, guys, I have obviously showered. The benefits of it being so hot right now in Texas is that my hair actually dries pretty fast and ever since I got extensions it takes so long to dry. Extensions are honestly just the biggest pain. I miss when I didn't need them. Well, I guess I don't need them, but you know what I mean. I'm about to go to a little meeting at Sedal's really quickly and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get the rest of the stuff for tonight and then go back and figure out some stuff. In the middle of these clips today, we have been dealing with a lot of like drama, uh, like okay kind of drama. So we're handling that. Um, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm feeling good about what is coming. I'm gonna be having a lot of Dallas events, by the way, in the next like month. I think as of right now, I'm gonna have three. I might just keep it at two, but one of them is like really small, so we'll see. Anyways, I'm going into Sidell's. Um, I'm meeting with someone who is potentially actually going to work for me just over the summer which will be great. It's just really helpful to have like someone, especially because I'm gone all the time and I own a house. Like that's why I need help. It's the owning a house thing and me being gone all the time. So we are out. Uh, my dress is Princess Polly. My pink Balenciaga bag is my favorite. It's Trader Joe's time. I'm so excited for my new flowers. And I'm just picking up a few things for appetizers. We're not doing like food food tonight. Um, but I did want to have like obviously appetizers. So pretty, so cute. I never have wine openers, like literally ever. So here we have flowers, we have stuff for the salad. I also got these little like frozen pizza thing that I'm going to put on a board. Um, obviously, mozzarella balls, balsamic vinegar, looks good. All right, y'all, it is time for the hosting haul. We have three bags from Anthropology. I was really planning on this being a way more chill hosting night, which it is compared to what I've done in the past, but I ended up spending like so much money and getting so much stuff. So I mean, did two bags of Trader Joe's and I already got some stuff before this. So anyways, let's start with bag number one from Anthropology, a smaller one. All right, I'll have everything linked below by the way, but these beautiful plates, like guys, are they not just unreal? Like, I'll need all the stickers taken off. That's actually annoying, but so cute. I thought they would just be, like, really cute to have um, for everyone's little appetizers. Upstairs, uh, what else do we have? I got a new picture. I mean, like, I'm okay with the color. I'm not obsessed, but I thought it would be fun. I got another of my favorite candles. Oh, my God. It's so good. Volcano candle. Just needed this for my house anyway, so that's separate. Then I got these two, like, serving boards that were on sale, as you guys saw when I was shopping. This one was originally 70 and I got it for 40, but this is such a good size for like any sort of platter. Um, and then I got this one, which I'll probably use tonight because it's just like more summery. Um, again, it was originally like 80, I think it says under there. And then I got it for 45, but like I love this board and I love the little handle, I think that's so fun. Um, oh, Softed Sprouts, I got my favorite wine. I'm very picky with wines and this is my go-to. I bring it like everywhere I go. Um, and then of course, I got a bunch of flowers. I'm about to make some arrangements. My flowers are dead, so I needed to anyways. And then basil, um, a little wine opener, cucumber, balsamic vinegar rat, baby's breath, more tomatoes, more, more cucumber, these frozen pizzas that I'm just gonna make in half hour. That'll be super easy. Um, and then mozzarella balls. This is the easiest thing ever to make. I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, I need to get this together. I have friends coming over to help me in like two hours, I think. 
but I actually have a lot. I thought I was gonna have the time to like get more work done today, um, but I actually have a lot to do. So I'll be doing that. I'll be getting this done basically as soon as I possibly can and going from there. Like guys, this right now, look at how much of a mess this is now. Needs to be fixed. So I made the salad. This bowl is actually from Italic, which I love Italic, it's incredible. I work with them as a pocket sponsor. Um, this is like the best summer little like snack, meal, appetizer, or whatever you wanna call it. This is definitely more of like a fall and winter thing, but it's a hit, and I always make them for book club, and these are like the same girls. So also, they're my favorite snack. It's just a bacon wrapped date with goat cheese in the middle. Um, obviously, just a crazy salad, but yeah, looks incredible. And then I have the pizzas to put on. I'm actually gonna go get ready really quickly because people are coming in about an hour to help set up. Um, I started to put things together, so I have this to bring upstairs. Gotta take those off. I cannot find my other, like, table cloth. Um, so I guess I'm gonna use this one from Furbish. It's cute, it just kinda clashes with the other stuff, but it's fine. And then I'm gonna use this um, little, what am I doing? Cooler that and then i'm gonna put this like little cooler out because it's cute it'll be nice if we need to like ice some wines and stuff upstairs looks great um that's pretty much it right now all right guys the lighting here is very harsh but i'm actually up oh, forgot to my makeup i'm about to do my makeup i started doing it in my closet room and i've been loving it i changed into a dress i used a few times because it's hot and i really didn't know what to wear but anyways i was gonna do a little um get ready with me but that this is not gonna work so anyways i'm going to be doing my makeup um i've been loving the thrive beauty or thrive cosmetics mascara it's the best mascara i've ever used i cannot believe how late to the train i've been i've also been loving nars laguna bronzer bringing it back and then everything rare beauty i use the tinge of moisturizer i use the foundation i use the liquid blush i use the highlight like i love everything about it so anyways i'm gonna do my makeup and get ready um and then i will talk to you guys after all right so i quickly just did really simple hair and makeup i i waved my hair or i crimped it whatever it is um my dress is abercrombie i'm wearing ugg slippers my heels hurt so bad like i don't know what i did but I'm in pain. So anyways, I think I'm going to start putting things in the oven. Um, everyone's coming at 7.30. I have two friends who are coming early. Um, I haven't even brought things upstairs yet, so like we'll see. I might make myself a little spritz. Updates to come. That 
was, I want to be honest with you, that AC is, is my arch nemesis. <laughs> I come up here and I want like an anxiety. Like yes, I want to send. Tess, it's looking so beautiful. Wow. Are you sure you don't want Guys, like look at how cute my flowers look. All right guys, very successful night. It was really fun. I think there was like seven of us. Um, and we drank wine and we painted with our paint by numbers. I would definitely recommend a paint and wine night. Like it was really fun. We were carrying a bunch of stuff down from the rooftop. It literally took seven people and two trips. We had so much stuff up there, but uh, so I had it there. Sorry guys, I don't normally do that. This is what my paint by numbers will look like, and I kind of want to make it a goal to finish it by the end of summer because it's incredibly calming. But I didn't bring water up for my brushes, which made it hard, and like this looks really ugly, especially when you see Lauren's. Like, I mean, you guys saw Lauren's. Uh, that was the most insane thing ever. I, I, yeah, so anyways, I want to do it. Of course, I picked horse, um, or I picked a horse. I had one glass of wine, like why am I acting like this? So anyways, um, I cannot stop thinking about This Is Us. I'm on season six, episode 12. I've only got six to go. Part of me is like, should I watch it? I don't have much tomorrow on my plate. So part of me wants to like have a chill day because Saturday I have a pop-up. So I'm like working technically Saturday. Um, so I think tomorrow's gonna be more of a relaxed day. I might be going and walking in the morning with my dad, but anyways, we will see. Tonight was really fun, really good day. Um, I just love hosting and having people over. I actually get a lot of requests and questions about like how I host this stuff. Book clubs, things like that, which we don't really do book club. Like sometimes we will and most people don't read. Like we really just do like a dinner party at my house. Um, and even just like random like logistical questions. Like so if you guys have questions, leave them below and I'll try to answer them all on this YouTube video. It's stuff that I wouldn't even think about that's actually like really good questions. So anyways, got some stuff from Anthropology as you guys saw. Oh my god, I did a TikTok vlog today and I totally forgot to do the rest of the vlog. So, love that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. Today is a very chill day. I actually, I don't think I've had like this free of a day in a bit. So I'm gonna do some emails and a little bit of work right now and then I'm gonna go meet my dad on the trail. I'm gonna do my three mile hot girl walk with my father. Um, tonight I have Pilates with Sierra. I'm sure you guys all know her from TikTok and then we're getting dinner after. So in between that, I'll figure out what I wanna do. Um, I really do kind of want to take most of the day off and I really want to read and honestly I want to finish this is us not very entertaining for the vlog I'm sorry guys um, But my skin if you guys have seen it in the past few vlogs, obviously it's really red now because I'm icing it, but I'm so amazed by Curology like really fixing it. I don't know how it got so rough um, But I will never and I mean never again Drift from my curology like oh my god the nighttime thing saves my life. So anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee um, Do some emails. I'm sending an offer over To a potential like kind of summer intern, which I'm really excited about um, This ice roller is just like the best thing ever um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, here's what I'm wearing on my morning walk This set is actually from Amazon Fitz, do you want to come and say hi? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch, bub. Oh, like, look at how handsome he is. Are you the most handsome man of all? Are you so handsome? Are you so handsome? Yes. Oh, you too, Coco. You too. By the way, y'all, this is my skin once I put this super group on, and this is the golden one, golden hour one. Um, so it just gives you a little bit of color. It's next level. I'll link this below. It's my all-time holy grail product. There's nothing Like I don't think I've gone more than two days because I ran out of it without using that product in probably like three or four years It's the best sunscreen ever. It also makes your skin look so good. Like I just love it So anyways, I love the golden hour one so good obsessed
Wow, guys. Okay, so it is now 1 p.m. I am not doing well. I've been working from the couch. It is like my time of the month and I feel horrible. So I ordered my comfort meal, which is McAllister's. I got sweet tea and I also got the Rachel, which is really similar to like the Reuben. It's like a Reuben sandwich. And then I also got, oh, applesauce, but I should have got mac and cheese. Um, I'm unwell. So I'm gonna work from the computer and just like see. I mean, I did say I don't have that much today. Um, and that was a lie, I realized I did. But anyways, I'm not feeling the best. Really need to take a nap. Really need to listen to my body. You know, but hopefully I'll feel better by tonight for Pilates. Um, I just hate being a girl sometimes. Like, I am not well. I'm not well at all. Look at how perfect he like, kind of looks like a human. I can't describe it. He's just been laying with me while I don't feel good and sleeping. Oh my god. I mean, he looks so cute. I was sleeping with my head there. We were holding hands and paws like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. It is 5.20. I've been on my laptop all day just working, and then I also um, took a nap. I'm not well. I'm not well at all. And I'll be fine tomorrow. I made myself another coffee because I do want to be able to stay up a little bit and read um, and just get a little bit more work done. But I just got this dress in the mail from Revolve. I made an order from Revolve um, probably like two weeks ago of a bunch of like really cute summer dresses that I don't really know where I'm wearing these to. Like I don't have like weddings or anything. Actually, I have one of my first friend's weddings from like middle school. Um, she doesn't live here anymore, but I'm going to her wedding in Tennessee in October. So I do have a wedding this year and I'm very excited. Um, comment below, are y'all's friends getting married? I have one friend who's here who is engaged. But that's like really rare and they're like the coolest couple ever but like none of us are even dating anyone and I think because I live in Texas everyone just assumes my friends like get married young and stuff and that's just not really the case with my hometown or even any of my friends here like I'm 24 now but like none of us are even dating people really that will marry like out of I'm thinking of this of a circle of like maybe 30 people I think two people are really dating um yeah I don't know what is up to with you guys and where do you guys live not in a creepy way I just always wonder anyways this dress, so cute. It's got a little slit down the leg here. I need to try it on because I'm kind of thinking I should have sized down a little bit. I got a medium, but I feel like maybe I should get a small. We'll see. I'm going to try it on eventually when I get around to it, but I just think it's like the prettiest dress. The fabric is different than what I expected, um, but it's still really cool. So anyways, also, does anyone have an aura ring? This thing I am like obsessed with. All right, y'all. I'm doing some online shopping for my trip to New York next weekend for the live show. Um, but I just ordered Zap Kitchen, which is my favorite Thai food um, on DoorDash. I've actually never even been there, but I've ordered this so many times. I stopped for a while, but again, comfort meals today. So good. Um, these are the drunken noodles. I had another coffee. I'm still exhausted, but it's incredible. Good morning, guys. This week has really tried to take me out, but it is another day. It's now Thursday. And I'm fighting back because first Monday, then yesterday, and not today. So today is Thursday. Um, I'm going to go on my little morning walk. I obviously have Pilates. I have therapy. I have a spray tan tonight. I have work I need to get done. Um, pretty much every outfit I ordered for New York I think is coming too late, which is weird because I ordered it with like way more than enough time, including my live show. So I have been ordering. I have to order even more stuff today. So much stuff that I'll eventually like I'll return if I don't wear it if it comes too late Like just a disturbing amount of money on clothes because I need these clothes to work, you know um, how many days? We've got two days until the pop-up got 11 days until the live show It is really coming and by the way the Rowdy House Store collection launches on Thursday on the 16th So anyways, um, I'm gonna go on a nice little walk Put on a podcast, listen to the Skinny Confidential, and uh, get going with my day. I'm gonna do laundry today, dishes. I'm being responsible, okay? Things I don't wanna do. Guys, I'm going to link this blanket because I truly feel like everyone in the world needs it. It's a weighted blanket from Brooklinen. Oh my god, it's so incredible. Like, oh, 
I love it. So I'm back for my walk. I did some dishes. I did some computer work. I have about 30 minutes until I'm gonna head off to Pilates. Um, I wanted to give y'all a little book update. As always, follow KE Books. Also, I've been so into my cold brew making it for home again. You guys have been seeing it. I used the Starbucks cold brew. And then I've been using Chobani um, creamer. So good. Also, I was so hooked on my avocado toast every single morning. I was having that for months. And now, like, it just doesn't. <gasps> what the hell? Something scratched my coffee table really bad. I just got that. <gasps> That is so weird. <laughs> Guys, like, let me show you. Okay, look at this. Oh, no. Look at that. Like, what? I just got this coffee table. It's from CB2. Are you kidding? Nothing was even on that. Like, has that always been here? And I just never noticed it? Like, this is what's on my coffee table. Nothing that would ever... What? First off, I'm really wondering, like, when I'm going to feel done with this house. I know I need to get a rug. I haven't been able to find one. And that's just been causing me a lot of stress, but like, I just feel like it's just not done. Like there's something with it that needs to happen to bring it all together. Well, I'm restyling the coffee table, that's random. But anyways, yesterday, last night, I ended up finishing after I was so exhausted all day long. Um, sometimes I go through periods too where I have no energy throughout the day and then at night I'm wired, which is so not my style anyways i read the roughest draft it was okay like i wish i would have read it at a time when i really wanted to read a book like this i think it's a cute light summer read it's about two writers and they're not really communicating with each other they wrote this like crazy like new york times bestseller book and they kind of communicate through writing and then eventually it comes together um so i finished that last night it was okay and then i started the power of one more by ed my i love ed my i love every episode he does with skinny confidential just love him um and i'm already on 54 percent. so i'm gonna read that this morning and then head off to pilates and drink my coffee guys like look at how look at how handsome our man is he's very tired from his walk this morning he takes a long nap after the walk I decided to put on leggings, set active, ear bars, soothies. I'm gonna grab my Lulu like belt bag and then I'm off. I'll probably talk to you guys later. Right after Pilates, I have therapy and then I'll probably talk to you guys after that. So, see you guys later. I'm home, I just got sweet green. I'll have my DoorDash link below. You get like 10 or $20 worth of credit. I get the Harvest Bowl from sweet green, um, but that's like literally free fruit. So I'll link it below. I'm out of breath because I've been rushing. Therapy starts in like two minutes, um, so I need to get on, but I'm eating my salad. I'm gonna go get a spray tan in about, um, I think, like an hour and a half. Uh, and I just changed into what I'm gonna wear. I scrubbed myself raw. I got rid of every single last trace of tan that I had, or the best that I could do. And this is my look. I've never looked better. Does anyone put on like their worst outfit they've ever seen before they go get a spray tan? Like, this, I will say these pants are unbelievably comfy, that's why I have them. Um, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Anyways, I'm going to make some food, um, put some of my dishes away. My dishwasher broke, and I have put in absolutely zero effort to fix it. I haven't even looked into fixing it. I just know that it's broken, and this is what's happening. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this, make some dinner, and then get a spray tan.
so here is the before, my beautiful outfit. I, my skin, I'm actually, I'm talking about my skin too, right? Um, Fitz is such a good dog, he just sits there when he's super outside. We're leaving, we're going, okay? We're going, promise. And I am back, uh, my tan will be developing tonight and then I'll wash it off in the morning. Oh, uh, isn't that so nice of you? No, seriously, you really are, oh wow, hi. I go to Dallas 180, uh, most of the time they come here. Other times I, I go to them, it just depends. It takes like literally 10 minutes and I love the girls so much. If you guys live in Dallas, you need to use them. Best tan ever, it's so hard to find the right tanner. Also, okay, the dogs really wanna play, even though I played with them for like two hours today. They just like insist on taking all of their toys and making a mess in the house, so I love that. I think I'm actually gonna make a tea, my mugs, and my stuff's like really unorganized. We're gonna go with this Dolly mug. No surprise here. I normally will just fill it up with water and then put it in the microwave. Is that really bad for me? Because are microwaves as, you know, are they still as bad as they say? They said what they were when we were growing up. Remember when everyone was like anti-microwaves for a second? I don't know, I don't even use it that often, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go with this new tea I got this week. We'll see um, how I feel about it. I got it at Sprouts. I don't know, I have. I actually have a lot of options, but I'm gonna try this one. We're gonna try this out. Updates to come. All right, it is time now. That was a bug um, to pick out my outfit for my workout in the morning. I did my laundry today. Oh. So I've got some options. Let's see. You always have to take into account, or I at least do, um, the level in which like my tanner will come off because I'm gonna go to spin and then walk the trail. I think I'm gonna do this little set active set. That looks cute. Just a nice little blue box bra and set. Perfect. I like the summer because that's all I have to wear. Um, and then again, I like all this just feels really organized guys it feels organized All right, I'm gonna spend my night drinking my tea ordering some online clothes and then actually I'm So obsessed with the Twilight Effect podcast. It's my cover podcast. I think I've listened Almost to every single episode at this point. I am obsessed and it's getting me in the mood to watch Twilight So as I shop, I'm gonna watch Twilight do the shopping that I need to do, and then hopefully start a new book. Uh, or actually, I think I have like 10% of my Let's Book left, and then I'll start a new book. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Um, this is what I do whenever I'm self-tanning them, by the way. I just wear pajamas that are long sleeve and like pants, so it covers as much as possible. So I transfer the least amount possible um, to my sheets. Obviously I do, but it's not, it's like rarely ever that bad. My pillowcases, the pillows, they're rough, okay? But the actual, like, sheets themselves are normally fine. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Um, haven't been able to really make my bed because Fitz is convinced it's his own bed. Isn't that right, Fitz? Hi, bud. Um, anyways, my tan is, like, lighter than it normally is, but I was so pale yesterday, so maybe that's why. Like, maybe I just, like, didn't ask to go as dark. It still is, like, a good tan. Like, I look healthy. Um, but anyways, I'm wearing a set active set. It's 7 a.m. I'm about to go spin and then I'm gonna go walk the trail this morning. Hi, bub. How are you? He hugged me this morning. We had, we laid together and he hugged me. It was so cute. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Don't lick me. Don't lick me. You're not allowed to lick me. Okay. Um, anyways. Well, that was, that was sweet of you. Um, I am leaving. And I'm going to spin class at Class Studios this morning, and then uh, um, the trail, and then today I'm getting a blowout. Tonight, Electric Shuffle is hosting me and my friends. We're gonna go in and do like their like happy hour special kind of vibe what they host, but we're going like 8.30, going to dinner with friends today. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good Friday. And then tomorrow is the pop-up shop, and I'm so excited. So, we are off, how many times can I say that? You guys, I'm sorry, like sometimes I just,
Hi, pups. I mean, look at this angel over here. Look at what we got. You were the cutest. All right, I don't even remember the last time I vlogged. <laughs> I looked at the camera with the light. How many times? Um, okay, so it is currently noon. Went and worked out this morning, went on a walk at Crady Trail, got Starbucks, came home, showered, got ready, and I've just been doing a ton of emails, which honestly, I thought I was gonna have like a lot of time in between, and I ended up having way more work. I'm getting a blowout at Dry Bar, and I'm gonna bring my Kindle, because I want to finish the Ed My Left book. I fell asleep last night, and I did start a new book last night, so I think I have like 20% left. Anyways, I was also making TikToks. Like, I'm really living for TikTok these days. Like, it's just making me so happy. I'm so excited for the event tomorrow, guys. Like, I am... Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is my first pop-up for Bourbon and Housewife. It's the first pop-up I think to your media has even done. Um, and it's gonna be such a good time. And I'm getting so many messages from y'all saying you're coming. And I'm just so excited. So, today is a good day. I love Fridays. I really do. I have so much to look forward to. You know, I think I'm gonna make a cute little drink as I'm getting ready tonight too. Because I'm not going out, out. I'm just doing like a shuffle and then going home. But it's gonna be great. I love it. Also, let me know if y'all prefer like one really, really long vlog or a bunch of short vlogs. You let me know. I made it to Dry Bar, my favorite place to be. I go to the Highland Park location. Got my hair done. All right, so here's my hair. It obviously looks like not incredible right now, but I get it really tight and then I eventually like finger comb through it. So I'm letting it lay because I want it to last through tomorrow, like looking really good. So I get the Cosmo tie, and then eventually I will like comb through it with my fingers, and it ends up looking really good. This is how I get like, just like the big curls, you know? Anyways, that's what I get, but it's not gonna look like this, I promise. I'm heading home, I just ordered lunch. I ended up getting some work done there. It was so cold in there, even with the heat on, or even with the hair dryer. I have lunch on the way, and I think I'm gonna like, make a vision board of my dream house because i keep talking about buying a new house in the next two years just one with like a yard and a pool and i'm like i need to like really visualize what i want so i can be more specific especially with like goals and stuff but anyways i'm gonna do that <sighs> what a good day guys look at this cute gift from lombardi concepts they just dropped it off at my house because i had to miss an event i think don was in town i don't there was a reason that i had to miss it um, but look at this. I'm unboxing it live with y'all. Oh my, oh my gosh. That is so, oh my gosh. Like, how nice. That is the sweetest thing ever. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. They have like Bistro 31, Lounge 31. Those are like how I know them. Taverna. Oh my god, literally today on my walk, I said Taverna was really good. Anyways, so cute. All right, I'm now practicing bad habits. Um, I just changed into my Skims pajama pants. I'll link them below. I have the top, but I'm just like wearing them right now. These are the best pajamas ever. These and the my Soma like silk ones. I love them. Um, I did finish at my lap book at the appointment. Incredible, loved it. Highly recommend. Now for the next probably like two hours before I have you know my weekend starting, I'm gonna eat my bowl, drink some water, watch a show, and then build my dream home. All right, guys, it is almost time for dinner. I just got ready. I filmed a little like TikTok cute video. Um, I am putting my oh my god, my friends are on their way right now. We're meeting at my house. I'm putting on the way Dean Street perfume. It smells so good. So tonight we're going to Electric Shuffle. They invited us in. Again, we're so excited. We went to their like brunch special, which by the way, if you live in Dallas, you need to do these because one, they're actually like really a great price. There's really no reason not to. But it's, I've vlogged there before and I've shared it before on TikTok, but Electric Shuffleboard is like a shuffleboard place, but it's a bar. They have great food and they have great drinks and they have like a happy hour like special kind of thing now. So me and I think like 15 of my friends are going tonight. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited. Um, so if you guys live in Dallas or you ever come to Dallas, you need to go there. It's also a really good place. I was thinking about this. People always ask me what to do in like a bachelorette in Dallas, and I don't really know because like I live here and this is I feel like it's hard to know like the really bachelorette stuff to do when you like live in the city. Um, but electric shuffle would be a really good option. Even just like a weekend thing. Honestly, for everyone, like I tell everyone about it because it's so much fun. It's in a deep alum. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing this Skims bodysuit. This might help more. Um, these pants are Abercrombie jeans. These heels are Princess Polly. And then I'm actually doing a little throwback with this Louis bag. Can anyone tell me what this is called? Got it on her, uh, not her word style. I got it on the real real. 
few years ago and it's one of my favorite bags and I haven't used it in like over a year so I decided I was gonna bring it back for my look today so anyways I'm gonna take y'all with me tonight we're going to try a new restaurant in Deep Ellum as well that is a look guys we made it to Elm and Good is this Elm and Good yeah <laughs> I'm in the reservation you would think um we are at dinner this place is very classy it's very cute it's not quite there's actually live music um, so I'm feeling a little bit classy. Laura's gonna order a martini. I saw a saxophone and I was like, yeah, this is the perfect place. Class. We're gonna train ourselves to like martini. No, I'm getting a margarita. Speak for yourself. I'll be doing that. Guys, just giving a little tour. We're back at Electric Shuffle. We're in the back room in the library. I've actually never even been here. It's, I mean, I've been to Electric Shuffle a ton, but not the back room. This library is incredible. They have a cute little welcome Kinsey and friends. But this back room is so cute. Look at the books they have. Oh, wow. We haven't even started the games yet. Espresso martini. Oh, cheers. <laughs> coffee i'm ice rolling it's saturday morning the morning of the pop-up it starts at 12 i'm gonna get there at like 11 30 to just get like content and stuff um we got the dogs that hi yet do you know it's a good day so i just did something to my knee and hurt it really bad and i have no idea what it is like i'm very, oh no coco's trying to drink my coffee i'm very confused and very concerned um you know when people get engaged and all they do is like hold up their left hand in their photos and stuff um, which I will definitely probably do now seeing as how I am not left-handed you would think I am because all I'm trying to do is like show this bracelet off I'm like oh just I am struggling like this you know but it's really the cutest thing ever I'll link it below um it's only like it's actually a really good price for bracelets like this I actually don't know the exact price but it is a good price I linked it yesterday on um, Instagram for a bracelet like this because they get so expensive and I literally wear it 24 7 I sleep in it I work out in it like I don't even think I just wear it that much but anyways Today is the morning of the pop-up. My mom is on her way. She'll be here in 45 minutes, so I need to get ready. First, I'm going to breakfast with my sister, my stepsister, technically, my niece, and my mom. And then we're going to the pop-up a little bit early, and the pop-up's from 12 to 3. My friends, some of them are eventually stopping by. It's going to be really fun. My cousin's coming, my dad, my stepbrothers. So there's just a lot of people coming. So I'm really excited. I hope people show up. We have a lot RSVP'd on the Eventbrite, but like... I don't know. I'm actually not concerned people won't show up, but like, what if they don't? I didn't even really thought about that. Oh, that would be really embarrassing. Anyways, but I'm trying to ice roll. You don't ice roll. You know? Oh my god, like, look at him. Find you someone that looks at you the way Fitz looks at me, you know? Just right now, though, he was being rude to me yesterday. We have our highs and our lows, you know? Fitz, what do you, do you, you want that? You don't even like me, you want my eye patch. That's what you want, okay. You fooled me. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready. Um... And I will see you guys once I get ready because I think I'm going to charge my camera in the, in the meantime. Alright guys, I'm ready. This dress is Revolve. My shoes are Puma. Normal Louis bag. Um, you might be like, Kenzie, you look high. I'm not high. Um, I did my makeup fully. It looked way better than this. Stabbed my eye. Had to start from scratch and put like a thing on my eye for like 30 minutes. It was really horrible. My mother is here. Mom, want to do a little outfit of the day? Sure. Cute. I have no idea. Bought oh. it in um, Costa Rica. Shoes are Steve Madden. Cute. And Where's your hat? Hat is Dawson and Claire. I'm crossing. Oh my god, you are so much. It's so funny now. You are so much more southern now than you ever were growing up. Like your random boutique stores are like. It sounds like you're at Nashville. The show. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll get that. Yeah. Oh, good thing she's coming. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're meeting at my stepsister and my niece for breakfast before, like literally right across the street. That's how close the places are. Well, guys. We're back on our way to eCare, just like when we were in Arizona. My eye is so bad. Um, we got to Bishop Arts. We like put our name in. We stopped in DeNovo because my eye was like so bad. I, I think it was a sun and I'm in so much pain. The event starts in an hour. I've only been waiting for this event for months and so excited. So 
So we're going right now um, and hopefully they'll just give me like a steroid drop and then something will happen and I'll be back. I mean, it's a three hour event anyways, but like I wanted to be there more than the whole time. The right lane to I'm just in Rogers so much right. pain and I have a bug with these sunglasses, but it's the only thing that can help me right now. This is the worst thing ever. I can't believe this. Only me. Like, why does this have to happen to me? I'm not a bad person. Maybe we'll have as much luck as we had. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm we were in and out of that baby. We were in and out so quick. We were only 15 minutes late for dinner. I know. And you know what? Basically, we're on the same time as our family. Because we basically meet everyone. Anyways, this is one of my favorite drives in Dallas. It's really pretty over here. But Guys, whatever just happened in there saved me. I love e-care. Like, I... I have numbing cream on my eyes, only gonna last about 15 minutes, but I'm, my spirits are high, I have no food, we're only gonna be, what, what's our ETA? 15 minutes. Oh my god, we're but literally we, arriving at 11.59, the event starts at noon. But are, are we going No, um, um, to I'm CBS? gonna get dropped off first, I think. Okay, so I'll drop you off and then go to see Because I don't think the prescription's gonna be done that quick. Thank and god um, you were here with me, mom. The, I don't know, in the past, the right. since I've moved out, I don't think you've ever taken me to something stop, before. Sir. Turn left onto town. Look, I don't know what I would have done. Right Thanks, Mom. And we're, and we're we're good at this. We could win in and out of an e care like nobody. Does. I don't know if we're good at this or like something about me being near you leads me to e care. Like I don't know what it is. Like I, the only two times I've gone, if you guys watch the Arizona vlog, what did I? I had like hives or something. What was it again? Yeah, you had hives it's on your throat. Oh, Just my throat was closing straight. up. That's right. Yeah, my body is really falling apart these days. So, anyways, at least my outfit's cute. Cute little e care outfit of the day. my life right now like I'm actually not kidding this is really my life so I made it through the whole event which was honestly a miracle I have never in my life been in so much pain the numbing wore off the drops that they gave me like they don't really do much because they're not steroid drops they're like antibiotic drops and they didn't give me ones with steroids in them so they don't help with the pain I'm not kidding I've never been in this much pain in my entire life when they showed us um, the photo, I took a photo of like when they were looking at my eye and there's like, it, I took a chunk out of my eye. Like it wasn't just a scratch. So anyways, I'm back home from the event. I made it all the way through. I met so many of you guys and I'm so sorry if you came and I literally had an eye sack in my eye and I was in so much pain. Um, and obviously I wasn't going to miss it for the world and I stayed the entire time, which I obviously like didn't want to do, but like I was so, I just feel like horrible. So it is a miracle that we made this work. So many of you guys shot and got clothes, and I'm just so excited. Um, by the time you guys are watching this, the Bremening Housewife Summer Collection drops Thursday. So it drops the 16th at 12 p.m. Central. You guys can shop it. We have so many new things that I'm really excited for. Um, and yeah, if you came to the event today, I'm so grateful for you, and I'm really sorry that this is the experience that you got. Um, but yeah, here we are. I literally have, I like washed off my face completely and put an ice pack on my eye. For the, like that was where we were at the event, but I'm so grateful because so many of you guys came and it was such a success Minus my eye, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life. I love you guys so much Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. If people come in and say I'm gonna be the next Kenzie it, It's too late. You're a second-rate version of Kenzie If you want to say I'm gonna be the next Lauren Everett or Skinny Confidential, it's too late That already exists. You want to be the next caller daddy that already exists. You want to be the next Joe Rogan. He already exists 
you can't follow in the footsteps of things that are already great. You have to you have to figure out your own path that can't be duplicated. And the only thing that can't be duplicated is your own authentic voice and your own authentic perspective. Life changed for me completely when I woke up one morning and was like, I am just going to talk exactly how I am on a mic. 